that they want me to take them to Scotland, to the Highlands, and find some golden eagles. Yo, so today I wanted to do something a little bit different. Uh, firstly, the backdrop. It's not my usual wooden shed type thing with my with my logo and my branding and everything in it and that's just because I'm in my daughter's bedroom. I don't actually have a space to make my films or to do my work. I've got a little space in the dining room um, but it's not ideal so I'm hoping to change that in the new year and share that progress as well with you guys. So I suppose this is like the first video that I'm like vlog type video that I'm making to sort of share what I'm doing but it's gonna be here in this with the backdrop because it's comfortable in here and the, the Sri Lankan elephants look pretty cool I haven't been to Sri Lanka this is a gift so yeah uh, just bear with me while I get myself sorted out but today i was sort of struggling i was like what well, i want to make a video i need to start showing people what i'm doing with summit and beyond and and then i was like well why not just share what you're planning and share your your daily kind of yeah just share the experience of how i plan what i'm doing when i go out and just be more proactive with the camera so that's what i'm that's what I'm doing. I've, sp I've split this video into two parts. This video is the first stages of the planning and how I've gathered that information, where I get that information from. So I'm just basically creating the structure to then actually go a bit deeper into each day. So the second, I'll do a second video on this, which will be the actual planning the routes, um, the all, all the things that I need to plan those days and those routes to keep us all safe. And yeah, just to make sure that people know where we are and um, that we know where we are as well. Today was supposed to be a day out in the lakes with my friend Jane uh, who she's like a mother figure to me but she's an absolute animal and she can run and hike for miles but today the weather we checked the weather last night and it's like 70 mile an hour gusts in the valleys in the lakes it's, it's horrendous man so we called it off um, but it was gonna be my first vlog where I took you guys with me and actually used the camera and you know shared some of the conversation that me and Jane are having so when I when I got up this morning I was a little bit gutted and then I thought well I'll plan I'll plan the trip that I've got in the Highlands in spring uh, with David and Alan who um, their daughter David's daughter very kindly booked the the my time uh, three days of my time and David and Alan want they like watch um, bird watching, so they they want me to take them to Scotland to the Highlands and find some golden eagles. So I thought, well, I'll share this with you guys. It's a perfect day to be planning uh, instead of being out in the mountains, stay in the house and in the quiet and do some planning. So I'm documenting that and showing you guys what I'm doing. I've seen golden eagles. I was out with Rob two years ago and we saw, I didn't get any footage of it because I, I saw some golden eagles. They were in the valley, we we're in the Fisher Field Forest in the valley. There was these two birds swooping, swooping, catching the thermals, lovely high pressure weather day. And Rob pointed out, Ben, look, there's two eagles down there. I was fumbling to get the camera um, but I couldn't take my eyes off them. I'd rather have the memory stored in my mind than the footage on a camera. So, but I was trying to do both. Uh, I didn't want to watch it through the screen kind of thing. And I missed it with the camera. I think I just got a, a shot of the mountain, the side of the mountain at the other side of the valley. But I saw it and it was beautiful. 
but that was in the Fisherfield Forest, which was a real random place to see them. But when I've done my research, I've talked to a good few people and Mull seems to be the place to go. So I'm planning a trip to Mull. So what I wanted to do today is share with you guys my, the, my planning. So the plan is to book the ferry um, at the, on the date that we're traveling out, which is towards the end of April. And the reason I've picked the end of April is because there's usually like a week uh, or a couple of weeks at the end of April where we have this high pressure weather. April and September, there's always a couple of weeks of beautiful weather, or at least 10 days. And I used to head up to Scotland and I'd give myself like 10 days or two weeks up in the Highlands um, every April for about five years. And always got maybe three or four days of amazing weather so it's trying to hit that spot that sweet spot uh, we've got obviously got definite dates that we're going up there just hope it's within that week of high pressure um, and the beauty of hiking in Scotland in the Highlands at that time of year is that it's cool the sun's out you've got the high pressure weather it's cool so the eagles are going to be yeah it's going to be better for the eagles it's coming into summer so life is spring, so life is starting to uh, be in abundance. So these predators, these raptors, these apex predators are going to be out in, you know, they're going to be out. They're going to be, uh, hopefully they're going to be out. They're going to be soaring about and, and hunting. And also, it, I don't know what the midge uh situation the midgy situation is in Mo on Mull but April throughout the Highlands is pretty midge free. So I started researching where the best place to find golden eagles is in the Scottish Highlands. I there's like lots of different information out there so I reached out to other mountain leaders and family and friends on social media who I know spend time in the highlands and the most common response was mull so this is obviously the uk that's where i am and then so if you find edinburgh which is easy to find because it's big bold capital letters head west and you'll find glasgow now if you go north from glasgow go north west you'll see this big old bit of water that's shaped like a slice of brie you know the cheese that you get from the supermarket or the deli uh, wobbly slice of brie if you go right to the top the north point of this brie shaped lake which is Loch Lomond the longest lake in Scottish Highlands uh, so you head to the northern point of that and then go west to the coast and you'll find Oban now Oban has a little island just off its coast and then you go across again and you've got the Isle of Mull now you know it's Mull because it's kind of shaped like the UK so at the top here you've got like the shape of Scotland and then Wales jutting out here and then Cornwall this big leg kicking out obviously it's a very over exaggerated UK but it's kind of the same shape okay so I go to Google and I put in golden eagles on Mull and then it comes up with Mull has the highest density of nesting golden eagles in Europe that's all I really need to know um, and then we go down people also ask where are golden where are the golden eagles on mull uh, mull eagle watch hide the best place to see white tailed and golden eagles at mull eagle watch hide and um, so let's go back up to let's go back up to google and say eagle watch hide mull 
Mole Eagle Watch. Where are we? We are at the base hosted by so look at the golf club. So we're back to that golf club now. Okay. Um so yeah the website goes on to talk about or to give you information about uh, COVID regulations and wild camping. The general gist is just, you know, like people, I think what they've found is people are turning up in camper vans or in cars uh, and parking up at the side of the road and just wild camping at the side of the road. And they're not cool with that because, well, for obvious reasons, there's a pandemic going on. So it's just about being sensible and kind to the people who live on Mo. So it's saying book a campsite because then we can monitor the movement of people and keep our residents safe which is absolutely spot on um wild camping i will i will wild camp while i'm there if i've got time but i will go like way deep into the mountains and find some water and, and set up there where there's no people and i'll leave no trace so if we go back we, there was a map right of there is this right is this going to be right well eagle watch there we go so it's right on the so there's mull and there's the eagle watch cool so now we're not going to go to the eagle watch obviously we want to we want to explore some of this area so it looks like there's some pretty nice um, hills over here which look down onto where the eagle watch is so i'm assuming that if we go up onto these hills we'll have a chance of seeing the eagles because they're not always down here by the water fishing they live up on the cliffs right so we can we can probably explore this little area here and we'll get get to see them hopefully and in april there's the high pressure weather so it we've got good chance of seeing them and it's spring so let's head over to os maps find mull there's mull and right so it was the golf club wasn't it so if we can find the golf club not the golf club nope is it further up here we go uh, so the eagle watch was over here on this little area it's like over on this area here so if we have a look there is if we go south a little bit cool right can you see this track here it's like double um, black lined trail it's like an absolute it looks like a real path going up and then there's these towers these these like big triangular shaped masts and it goes all the way up another mast again need to learn how to pronounce these names and then we're onto sort of like what looks like a ridge line all the way up to 757 meters and that ridge line looks absolutely stunning it just keeps going across it's like little bodies of water up here which would be quite high up but it'd be ideal for wild camping wow and it's dropping back down but whoa look at this stunning area i wonder if that's quite boggy up there but it looks rocky as well so might be some good places to camp up there do a wild camp mm, drops back down into the valley a beautiful area i i would i would say that if we went up followed that trail up to the tops we mm, kept our eyes open at some point we would see the some eagles some raptors some bird of prey there's a pretty big mountain on Mull. It's called Ben Moor. It's a uh, Munro. So then that straight away brings me to my bookshelf, and I've got this book, the Munros, 
by Cameron McNeish. Probably pronounced wrong again. And I've got this book, The Munro's, The Scottish Mountaineering Club Hillwalker's Guide. And these two books are awesome to sort of cross-reference because they sometimes have slightly different routes or descriptions. The wording of this one is kind of more poetic and friendly, it's easier to read. The wording of this one is more formal, if you like. So the cool thing that this this says uh, this one says at the start of um, Ben Moore on Mull is the only island Munro, the only island Munro outside of Sky. Ben Moore dominates the western group of hills on Mull and gives them their impressive form, especially when seen from the south. So Ben Moore is the only mountain over 3,000 foot on the, I the Scottish Isles, the Scottish Islands. The, the only other Munros on the Scottish Islands are the, are the, cooling, the cooling Ridge. So one thing I've always struggled with is pronouncing the Scottish names. I, when I'm planning, I sound like I'm speaking Klingon and I'd never pronounce anything right. And I've kind of been real lazy with that over the years. And I came up, I just typed into YouTube um, how to pronounce Scottish names. And this lady came up called Lara, who is studying in Aberdeen. And she's got this 13 minute video of pronouncing um, ta names of towns and where, the, where that dialect comes from. And I have not got a clue how to pronounce them. So Lara, if you see this video, I'll link your video and channel in the description below. There's nothing more embarrassing than taking somebody to an area that I know how to navigate through because I've got the skills to do that. And I understand the geology and the landscape and I can talk about all that stuff. But then when it comes to like saying, oh, we're gonna go here. Like, I can't pronounce the names, it's so embarrassing. So having somebody that can actually teach that, how to do that, I think is fantastic. And I really appreciated that video, so thank you. And on that note, I'm not gonna try and pronounce any of the names on the map or in the book, but I'm just having a quick look in the Munro's book by Mr. McNeish and um, you go to page 214 and we have Mull, Sky and the Mull, oh Sky and Mull, sorry. Uh, so there's an explanation. What I'm really interested in is the pictures. No, <laughs> what I'm really interested in is this here. So if I look at this, this little map or this little drawing, what I can see is there's a route that goes in this sort of U-shape here. Now it goes to the, the summit of Ben Moore, uh, but it kind of follows this gill up onto the summit and then it follows this gill back down. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch back to the OS map. So here's the OS map and there is the Eagle Center that we were looking at around this area here. And then if we follow this road, so it's quite easy access to get to Ben Moore, follow this road all the way around. What we should find is right where it says the oil or Isle of Mull. We've got Ben Moore. We've got Ben Moore right here. Um, so in the book, what you were seeing is the start of the trail or the start of the path up to the top of Ben Moor is this car park here. You see the P? And right across the road from the car park is what looks like a trail. Now in Scotland, you don't find the 
like in England you'll find the the trails are marked good established trails are marked with the green lines not so often in Scotland because there's not the same they don't have the same laws with uh, roaming rights as we do in England and Wales so a lot of the more established paths just look like the less established paths on the map in England if that makes sense in other words the paths all pretty much look like these little black dotted lines so this could be a really well and I imagine it is a really really established path it just doesn't if you're used to reading maps in England it just doesn't look like it's going to be but when you get there it will be so here you go remember from the book we had the gill there's the gill going up to and then the path sort of meanders up the shoulder here and then up onto the ridge line up onto the summit and then the descent it goes across this ridge line and then we pick up all these veins of water which eventually feed into this gill and we follow that gill all the way back down to the road loop back to the car so there's a couple of reasons why i want to go on benmore the first reason is that it's high and eagles fly high there's big birds man they use the, the they use the high pressure weather the thermals to get as high as they can so that's the highest point on mill so we and there's lots of steep craggy areas where they could potentially be nesting we can get up there safely we've got the skills to do it so we should go up there the second reason i want to go up there is because it's a munro and i haven't done it yet so i want to get i want to go up there if the guys if david and alan decide that they don't want to go that high that's absolutely fine i'll stay an extra day and i'll go up there myself but i'm pretty sure that they'll be up for that adventure so they're the two reasons that i've decided to go on to ben moore but i do believe just exploring being out there in that environment and seeing more as much of mull as we possibly can will bring more chance of seeing the eagles right? so the plan we're going to spend a day going up ben moore hopefully see some eagles and see just the just to get the feeling of mull and the mountains then we're going to spend a day like to spend a day maybe uh, staying quite low in the valleys and by the coast and seeing if we can get a different perspective and then a day heading up that track past the towers and then um, yeah up onto the ridge line there because then that gives us the view back down to the lock back down to the coastline of mole and it gives us a view into the mountains so i think that will be the best place to see the eagles but we shall see anyway i hope that you have i hope that you've enjoyed this content and i if you have please let me know like hit the thumbs up and leave me a comment below and if just let me know if you'd like me to do more vlogs like this i thought getting it done now and making a video about it could help some of the mls out there or just people in general who are wanting to plan a trip and just see yeah just like share it with you so let me know if you've enjoyed this content and if you do i'll make more of it if not i'll not make more of it but let me know below okay i think that's about it i will see you in the next video in a bit Thank you.